right outside. What is up, everybody? It is Friday. It's today? No, today's Thursday. It is Thursday already. So I've been flying my drone this morning, actually. Got some good shots. I was going to get a time lapse this morning because I had really been, you know, doing that like every morning. I was getting time lapses and stuff, showing just the morning. And well, I hadn't been doing that. Well, the sun wasn't coming out, and I was like, okay, great. That's dumb. So I was sitting on my desk, and then suddenly, boom, we got this. So I ran out here with my drone, flowed, flew it overhead a little bit, and so yeah, that was pretty cool. So I don't know what we have planned for today. Um, I actually ended up going to bed at a decent hour. I think I went to bed at around midnight, got up at about 5.14, 5.15. So since then, I've just been editing the video for today, so I'm going to have that up probably around 9 o'clock. I wanted to have it set up by 8, but I'm out here making this. I didn't get any work done on the Jeep yesterday because usually I do stupid work at night and stuff and I plan on doing some stuff but I decided to get some sleep instead which is probably better uh, maybe I'll go grab the roll cage paint it in the garage real fast and then hopefully I'll get that on today I'm hoping to get the doors and hardtop back on ASAP but I can't do that until I finish the interior so but if we can get the whole interior done by today that would be fantastic so that's what I'm hoping to do but right now I have to go back I have to finish editing today's video I've been making chorizo and eggs like every day for the last two weeks, I think. It's just so stinking good, guys. Chorizo and eggs is like the bomb. I'm surprised how many people don't know how to make tortillas properly. So this is how you take your tortilla, you put it on there, you move it around just to make sure it's not going to stick or whatever. That's step one. Then once it starts bubbling like this, take it, flip it, boom. And then you're good. You just repeat that over and over again. You all people out here trying to use a spatula and stuff, it doesn't work if you use a spatula. It doesn't taste right. If you use a spatula, it doesn't get that natural taste to it. It gets a plasticky taste or something. I don't know. It's just... just... Now you know how to flip one. And then after that, you roll up all your burritos. They look like that. And oh my word, that's the bomb. Every single time. Okay, I got most of the flour. Well, I guess forget about all that. It's stinking. I felt. Joby Gorilla Pod. I actually fell asleep, and it is like 3 o'clock. What time is it now? Yeah, it's almost 3 o'clock now. Uh, so much for getting back to a sleep schedule. Yeah, I'm used to getting like 3 hours of sleep and like in the morning, so I don't know. That was weird. Uh, I'm like tired. I don't know. Maybe I'm sick. I don't know. Anyway, check it out. Here we go. There we go. There we go. This should just pop right in there, and then that'll hopefully fix my whole issue. Let's see if we can get this thing to come out. This rubber boots just supposed to pop off. Ta-da! There we go. That wasn't that bad. <laughs> and I forgot about that. I still gotta put that like shifter plate on here. Looks like I might not actually get to uh, get the roll cage in. At least not like today. I might paint it later today and then put it on. But it's already like three o'clock and uh, I don't know what happened to me today. I just fell asleep. I was tired. I slept at like. 12 to 5, which is what I'd prefer to sleep that time, and usually I'm really good at that, but I guess not. In case you're wondering about the insulation, this is where I put the Reflectix. It's just right here, and I think I mentioned in a video, I know this is not the proper way to put in Reflectix. It's supposed to be like an inch of space, blah, blah, blah. Um, I just did it this way for convenience. Ugh, she looks so good though, look at that. Urgh.
got paint on my glasses, so I had to clean those off. I accidentally grabbed them when I... I got the, so I got the roll cage painted. Um, I'm just gonna let it dry for a little while, maybe give it a few hours. And then either later today or tomorrow, I'll have someone help me put it in. I don't, I have to have someone help me so I don't scratch up the Jeep or whatever. So that's painted. Tomorrow, I'm going to bolt that thing in and that's going to get us just this much closer. Also, getting that shifter was fantastic. I got the shifter on, which is great. But that means uh, all I'll have to do, I need to rip the carpet out and kind of just dust it off and then reinstall it. Make sure it's secure and installed properly after that. And when I put the roll cage in, I can put the rubber boots for the shifter on and then everything there will be cleaned up. That's like it guys. Like after that, I can maybe, you know, I might need to do a little bit more work on the doors, but after that, I just need to get everything lined up. And then it's just a matter of getting that rear tailgate on. And we're this close, we're, we are so close. I just wanted to kind of talk about something cause I like these little chats. So I've seen this a lot, especially, um, so when I made the video announcing my 50 state road trip, um, there was a lot of people who kind of pointed out that it seems a lot like I'm kind of copying I am Jake. And uh, I just kind of want to address that. It's not really a problem, but I just kind of wanted to point it out that, you know, there's a lot of people who see that, you know, they see that I want to, you know, live in a Jeep and travel and, you know, do a 50 state road trip. And it's true that that is a lot like what I am Jake was doing. It's the exact same thing he was doing, living in a Jeep and traveling the world. You know, he was doing that. So, you know, I could see where people would come with the idea that, you know, I'd be copying him, especially because particularly in that video, I used a song by Andrew Apple Pie, Catch It, which is the same exact song he used for his last few videos. That's kind of his intro song. So I can see where people would get that similarity. I, I didn't actually want to use that song. I was looking for other songs, but it just seemed like the only song that fit in that video. And that's why I used it. Well, the reason I wanted to bring this up is because I don't want people to watch my videos and think that I'm copying him. I never want people to look at my videos and seem like, you know, I'm copying him because if they think I'm copying him with the rep with the reputation he has built it would almost be like I remember there was this big problem when people started doing vlogs is there was a lot of people copying Casey Neistat you know copying him and when you do the same exact thing someone else is doing and it starts to feel the same it just feels like you know the Chinese knockoff of the same person it doesn't feel genuine so I don't want people to watch my videos and think oh it's just like I am Jake but not as good or you know like it's just it's like somebody copying I am Jake I don't want that to be my reputation is that I'm the copycat of I'm Jake. I want to be my own person. I have my own life, my own story, and I want people to see that. Now, I would be lying if I said that I'm not inspired by him, but you know, and I mentioned this in my video, the whole idea of traveling in a Jeep and stuff and going on adventures was, it's why I bought the Jeep in the first place. When I was looking for a vehicle, my first car, I didn't want to buy something boring. And because I love nature and I love adventure, like the week after I bought it, I was even thinking it'd be so cool if I could like make this a little camper and I could sleep in it and travel in it, and, you know, just make it like this little RV. And so that was all me. Like that was all my ambition. That was all my passion to do that. But when I found I am Jake, that helped inspire me to pursue that. And I think that's the difference. The reason you don't see a lot of people doing this is because there's not a lot of people who feel that same way. And I think that Jake and I have a lot in common. We have a lot of similarities. We have a lot of the same interest. He liked the idea of living in a Jeep, so he did it. I like the idea of living in a Jeep and he inspired me to want to pursue that. The Urban Dictionary definition of a copycat is someone who copies you and everything you do like copies your dress, sense of fashion, your sense of humor and so on and so forth, you know, things like that. Somebody who directly sees something someone else is doing and then decides to copy it or try to steal the idea of it, try to make it seem like they're, you know, that person, you know, an exact imitation. And usually it's really easy to tell when someone's doing that because it's almost like they don't have their own identity. It's like they don't have their own life and they're having to fake it the whole time. I don't want people to ever, you know, feel like that's what I'm doing here because this is something I'm passionate about. This is something that I enjoy as well. And I think that people will see that and get confused because we do have a lot of similarities. And you'll probably notice I, there's a lot of things about me that I try to really show that I, I know I'm very different about. Um, for example, one thing, I don't know if anyone's noticed this, but I don't think I've ever made a video where I wasn't drinking coffee. And that's something even big like Peter McKeegan. Coffee is a really big part of his videos. It's almost like iconic to his character. He's always drinking coffee and it's always in his videos. And he pointed out that there's probably people out there who will see someone else in a video who's drinking coffee in their vlogs and they'll be like, oh, you know, you're copying Peter McKeegan because he drinks coffee. And he's like, and he always found that odd because he's not the only person who drinks coffee. You know, lots of people drink coffee. Lots of people love coffee. And so that's like something I do. And I didn't copy that from Peter McKeegan. 
I am Jake isn't the only person I'm inspired by. There's a lot of other people out there who have really, I see their content and I'm like, I want to be like that. I mean, these glasses, not necessarily specifically these glasses, but the idea of wearing glasses was very strongly inspired by Casey Neistat. I always saw that he was wearing glasses and it's an icon to his character. And I was like, oh wow, I really like the way he looked with the glasses. It's always He's always wearing those glasses. And it's very, he's very well known for his glasses. At some point, I was like, I want to have glasses. I think that'd be really cool to have glasses in a video. And I got these and they've been stuck ever since. So that's why I always wear glasses. I feel like it's iconic to my character. It's, you know, part of my videos. It's just, you know, part of who I am. So, I mean, what's the definition of inspiration? The process of being mentally stimulated to do or feel something, especially to do something creative. When someone inspires you to do something, usually you have to already be passionate about that thing. Things that might inspire one person don't necessarily inspire another. But seeing something that you're passionate about and seeing someone else doing it or having someone else inspire you to want to continue to pursue something you're already enthusiastic about, that really helps you to you know get up and want to pursue that thing. So many people can inspire you to do things. That doesn't necessarily mean that you're copying them. It just means you saw something and you really liked it and you liked the idea of it and so you wanted to do it. And I just kind of wanted to bring that up because I don't ever want people to feel like I'm trying to copy anyone because I, I don't think I am. I'm very inspired by a lot of those people, but I'm trying to live my own story, do my own thing. And I hope when people see that, they see that I'm, you know, I'm trying to be unique and I'm going to try to be as genuine as possible. I hope that one day I can be an inspiration to other people to pursue their dreams and do what they want to do. But for now, I just kind of wanted to throw this out. So I will update you guys in the Jeep tomorrow. Hopefully I'll get that roll cage in and start cracking down on stuff. And that's all. Have a great day.